Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather here and a few things on the list as we approach Christmas. Number one is this Arctic front that's racing north to south across the west. It's really going to drive the snow pattern across the west and eventually the east because this Arctic front develops into a large sweeping robust area of low pressure across the Great Lakes. Unfortunately, it's not a great track for the big ski areas in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, flushing them with warm air. I'll explain in a minute. And then after the dust settles out west, there's an atmospheric river potential. And it looks pretty good, 1228, 1229, and after, and later. Maybe in the January 1st, we could be looking at a rich feed of moisture across the west coast. Uh, first things first, here's the setup, the current setup on water vapor. Two things to notice. There's the Arctic front in blue diving through the northern Rockies. Secondly, is this deep trough over Hawaii. Big dip in the jet. We saw 100 mile per hour winds over the volcanoes there and heavy snow all from that. Well, the, the Arctic front will move through Colorado and then race out to the east and develop into a very large area of low pressure. What will happen is it will create a space in the flow for the entrainment or at least starting to pull in this trough out of Hawaii and that would be the front end of what could become the atmospheric river setup for the west coast down the road. I wrote about it this morning on my blog chrystomer.com Arctic Front, Great Lakes Blizzard and West Coast Atmospheric River. So take a look at that. There's the forecast pattern and I'll show you what I'm uh, seeing here. First of all, east coast, northeast. Late in the day on 1222 Big dip in the jet, big trough, a lot of support for this area of low pressure and a lot of wind energy. So we're going to see that in your blizzard conditions, I have a feeling. Up in the northeast, unfortunately, you're in the warm sector of this, so you're going to probably see snow first and then over to rain, then back to snow, which will cut down on the accumulations in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. But nonetheless, that becomes a pretty big storm system. Out west, 1225. Christmas Day, the north-south orientation of the jet has just become more and more extreme. I was hoping for more of a northwest flow, but now it's more of a northerly flow. I think there'll still be some accumulation, as you'll see, but not what it could. It could have been much bigger if we would have seen a little less amplification with that. And then notice the low coming in there. That's the front end of that big trough, which would be the leading edge of what would become our, our atmospheric river setup. And right now, some of the indications are for at least a moderate intensity on that as it hits the uh, west coast. So a lot to look forward to. Uh, that's 1225. Here is 1229. You can definitely see it. Um, west east flow on the jet and it reaches all the way back to Hawaii. So we've got the Pineapple Express and it would just absolutely blast the west coast uh, with just heavy precip, heavy snow for the mountainous areas obviously. And, that would, that's something to watch for um, the evolution of January 1st in the new year. All right, uh, back to the, uh, the blog here, and I want to get into a little bit about um, the timing of all of this. I'll take the, the radar, the future radar and satellite here full, and notice here is Wednesday morning. Here's Thursday morning at 6. There's the Arctic front moving out of Colorado. Here's Friday morning at 6, so some precip moving through. Um, same on Saturday. And then, you, I mean, there it is on Sunday. That's Christmas Day. And what we're really seeing is sort of that north to south flow with that powerful jet. So the precip is there. It's not what it could have been, but there's still going to be accumulation. Again, there's Sunday at 11 p.m. So let's go into some of the totals here. And I'll do this in three different phases. Here's all of today through the 22nd. Um, Tetons probably get a foot, half a foot in the Wasatch and four to ten in the central and northern mountains of Colorado. This is mainly from the Arctic front. That's mainly what we're looking at right there. Uh, phase two on this is 1223 through 1225. Now what we're seeing here is mainly uh, some residual moisture blowing across the west and also a bit of an influence from the north to south jet stream. So the numbers are not all that big. Two to six inches through Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, Idaho, Montana will probably do it. At the Pacific Northwest, BC, Banff have the biggest numbers through Christmas right there, uh, 1223 to 1225. Here's the latter period, 1226 to 1229. Now, what we're seeing here is mainly the influence from what would become 
the atmospheric river. That's why the numbers are starting to go up so fast here along the west coast. And even to some degree, um, with the blow-off, some of that moving into the interior, and we're looking at maybe a foot across the Tetons and the Wasatch, another 4 to 10 in Colorado. So, I mean, that is a pretty good period overall, 1226 to 1229. You're really just catching the very start of what could be that atmospheric river during that time frame. All right, so the Northeast. Um, oh, and by the way, I added Hunter Mountain here in New York State. And on the other maps, the western, I added Powderhorn Ski Area in Colorado. So for the Northeast, again, this is mainly all in about 1223, the, the big storm system that comes through. And there will be lake effect behind that, 1224, 1225. But what we're seeing here is mainly two to six inches of um, whatever we can whatever we can save because it's you know snow first then over to rain then back to back to snow so it's it's not a pure storm system unfortunately if it was we'd be looking at big totals but it just it just hits that area with such warm air um, with the storm system that there's just no way to there's just it doesn't seem like there's any way to get a pure snow event out of this thing so all right, guys, there you go uh, on this day. It was at 1220. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.